what she's just telling them. You wouldn't hear. She was telling them testimony. Yeah. Pastor God, I gave my testimony earlier. Yeah. And I'm just thanking God because the crunch is in the car. Yeah. 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 I said, oh, the box club. Pastor, I told him, I said, you look at my feet. My feet look like clown shoes. But I still came in giving God some glory. Yeah. Praise the Lord. When she says a miracle walking, yeah. you looking at a miracle yeah. walking. Yeah. All right. Praise yeah. God. And I take nothing for granted yeah. what God yeah. has done for me. Yes, Lord. So I just ask you to, to bear with me in this song. It's a simple song, but that's all I can say. Yeah. Is thank you, Lord. Yes. All right. Because thank you, Lord, goes a long way. Yes. It's just like a parent. A parent wants their child to be thankful on the things that they give to them. And you know, Christmas time is coming, but yet, are you grateful for what they do? Oh, Lord. Yes. Because every day they're putting a roof over your head yes. and feeding you food and getting putting clothes on your back and shoes on your feet. That's the same thing with the Father up above. That's right. Are you grateful for the things that He gives us every day? Every day He's giving us miracles and blessings. So y'all just pray for me as I attempt to do this song.
Lord, come make it a way for yes. me. Yes. Oh, how you heal my body. Yes, Jesus. Touch every soul that their ears will be open, yeah. their hearts will be receptive, Lord, and that Holy Spirit, you will speak and not me myself, and have your way in the name of Jesus. Let the church say, Amen. 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 Well, well, well. I'm gonna come on back for some people that wasn't here yesterday. The title of what God has given me for the last two or three months, and it just fell up on the revival as me and Pastor Hazel got a chance to talk. It's about, he says, speak on roadblocks. All mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Roadblocks. And these roadblocks are what is blocking you from moving forward in your life? All right. All right. 
Praise the Lord. And I'm going to come back and say, is it God? Is it you? Or is it the devil? So right now, we're going to eliminate God out the equation because it ain't God. That's it. That's it. That's so it. it's two of them right there. Mm. And you can't serve two masters. Amen? Amen. So it's either the devil or it's you. And a lot of times, we try to blame the devil on some things that we have done. Everything is not the devil's fault. That's it. Now, the devil does play a role. Yeah, he do. But he only can play a role when you are enticing your own desire. Then he can move in on you. Yeah, yeah, Amen? Amen? I want to make sure I'm right here. Because I say, hey, don't believe me. I'm going to bring scriptures. Search those scriptures and see that them things are, are true of what I'm saying. Amen. Because we're not right. There's no bishop, there's no president, there's no pastor, or anybody's right. The Bible's right. That's it. That's it. Say that. Say that. And we take things and we want to twist it to the way that we want. But I leave that. God said in his word, he said, they're going to be held accountable for what they do. Amen. So God said, don't you worry about it. You just keep preaching the word. The uncompromised word. Amen. Amen. Let's move on. Now today I'm going to talk in these roadblocks. The blaming spirit. Oh, Lord. That's it. That's it. The blaming spirit. Yes. That's what that is. We blame everybody else about some decisions or some actions that we took, but it's your fault. Mm -hmm. We don't want to take it for ourselves. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm speaking yeah. to your children too. Some of y'all, y'all, y'all can understand. And I want y'all to get this too. And I pray that God will plant it in your heart and in your mind and in your soul that the spirit will speak to y'all. Because uh -huh. y'all in school is peer pressure. That's it. That's it. That's it. Girls, they you know how girls are in school, mm -hmm. and as well as the boys. You ain't down with it, they, it's peer pressure. Uh -huh. But also, it can be adults that have peer pressure too. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just for kids, it is for kids, but peer pressure with family. You trying to run the rap race and try to even up with your brothers and sisters and you can't do what your sister or your brother do. God got a calling for you. And he have a path for you. Yes. But you want to blame them. Mama always looked at you so I blame you for not going where I'm supposed to go because mm. mama showed more favor to you. Mm. Or we're going to walk with you. Y'all act like y'all don't hear what I'm talking about. Come on. Say it. Say it. Oh, we want to blame why you always don't bother John, John, but you always make me go and do this. I can't stand you, John. And, and a lot of times, so, uh, so when I'm talking about this blaming spirit, we can't go out and go and witness to others, and you got brothers and sisters that you can't get along with, but you want to tell the church to walk in love. Mm. Amen. And you want to tell everybody else That's it. to walk in love. But you can't get along with your own father or your sister or your brother or your cousins. That's it. Y'all help me here. Who help me. People that do that, you a hypocrite. Yes. And a lot of people don't want to talk about that stuff. That's it. But I hear, I know I can't preach this message in every church because they are not going to accept the uncompromised word of God. And I talked to them all. I said, well, we can sit down, whatever Bible you want. A, B, C, L, M, L, P, and sit on down. I'll read out the King James Version. That's it. Then we're going to sit down like men, and we're going to discuss the Scripture, yeah. whether the Scripture is the truth. Whether it's us, we, we're not right. The Bible is right. That's right. And we're going to sit down, and we're going to talk. Now, we can have agreement and disagreement. Mm -hmm. But the Bible is right. Yeah. 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 And we want to follow this. And we say we believe it. We say we're going to say, if I find it in the Scripture, would you believe it? We ain't going to argue. If it's in this scripture, when you believe it, so it's in there, you got to believe it. So it messes up a lot of pastors and a lot of people's theology because the Bible is so simple and we make it so hard. My God. It's this, it says what it says. If you do this, this is what you get. And if you do that, this is what you get. He said what? Galatians what? Chapter 6 and verse 7. He said, be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Yeah. He that soweth to the flesh shall reap corruption, and he yeah. that soweth to the spirit shall reap everlasting life. Yeah. Be not weary in well-doing, 
In due season you shall reap. You hear me, Pastor? All right. If you do not faint. Pastor, I thank God for you didn't faint. All the stuff you told me that the devil tried to steal from you. Use all kind of things. Action. But he didn't know who he was messing with. He was messing with a soldier. A soldier. And once you got on your bent knees and got the praise, hey, God bless you back. Seven for took back what the devil stole from you. Hallelujah. And that's just, that's not the beginning. You can't tell at all what God is going to do. Hallelujah. This blaming spirit. Right. We blame everybody. You got from I'm not just talking about the congregation. We're talking about church folks because the Bible is talking to believers. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is, it is not talk. He tells us about the unbelieving, and he always tells us, y'all shall overcome them. Right. When he yes. told the children, is when you go out, he said, y'all go to possess the land. He said, I went before you. I sent my fear before you. He said, but. You have to fight. There's something supernatural that God does. Yes. A miracle that he does where you don't got to do nothing. Then there are some requirements where he gives you wisdom that you got to go and do it. Yes. Yes. And we don't want to do that. Yes. God said, I'll give it to you, but I'm not going to do this. All right. I'm going to give you some wisdom of how to go about doing this. And if you follow the instructions of what I tell you, you should get out of it. I'm using an example. It, they said it was going to rain. And Noah, God gave him wisdom to build the boat. Amen. It's either he followed it or he's not going to follow it. Yeah. <laughs> but he gave him instructions how to get out of this destruction yeah. that's about to come to pass. Yeah. But it. Noah still was found righteous and he preached for 120 years. Wow! 120 years telling people it's going to rain. And they said, this man done lost his mind. Where is it going to rain now? Mm -hmm. So where am I going with this blaming spirit? Stop being bewitched. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Galatians chapter 3 said, oh foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? Glory. And we, your pastors, y'all know it as well as some believe some people be in the church be operating in witchcraft. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, I bind that spirit. Yeah. How do I know? Because I used to be a part of it. Yeah. You can be saved and be in the church and dealing in witchcraft but don't even know that you're dealing in witchcraft. Come on, come on, come on. Read these books. Yeah. Going and doing all kind of stuff that you know that you're not supposed to be doing. Come on, come on. And you do it behind the scene. Yes, yes, yes. That's it. And as soon as the anointed pastor come in, you right. manifest. Right. <laughs> we call them the unbelievers to come to the altar, but the believers are all at the altar all trying right. to get. How is that, sir? Because you're supposed to walk in the spirit and not in the flesh every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you you leave church. As soon as somebody cuts you off in the traffic, I'm talking about myself. Yeah. Uh, see, what I'm preaching to y'all, I'm preaching to myself because God dealing with me in something. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. We, we ain't got it always, always. Yeah. The Bible is an ever-learning process. Yeah. All day That's and every day of your life. Yeah. And while it. you are saved and you're on earth, there is a fight for your soul yeah. with the yeah. devil yeah. every day. Yeah. If you was on drugs, alcohol, prostitution, whatever you want, the devil comes at you where he had you at. Yeah, yeah. Yes, he and he ain't gonna come. Yeah. Yes, he yes, comes he in a lot of different forms. Yes, he does. Different ways to get you back yeah. in the smoking dope. Get yeah. you back in the drink. Yeah. Yeah. Get yeah. you back yeah. in the gambling. Get oh. you back to hormoning. Sleeping with your sugar daddy. Men with your sugar mama. Mm. And just do it all. Yeah. Yes, it. Oh, it. kind of wild thing. That's it. That's it. And then you say, it's your fault what I'm doing. <laughs> you want to blame yeah. somebody else That's it. for an action that you did. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Amen. <laughs> and sometimes that mouth can get you in trouble. Ooh. Yeah. Sometimes we talk too much. Uh -huh. Talking Glory. about myself. Glory. <laughs> yeah. Glory. We talk yes. too much. Yes. Yes. Now, there's nothing wrong with talking if it's something that is concrete evidence right. that being part of the solution yeah. and not part yeah. of the problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we all 
have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We all have gossip. We all have slander. And we all talk about sister such and such and brother such and such. We all do that. We can't sit up here and lie. But you got to have to repent this heart. Because when you talk that way, you put your mouth on a man of God or a woman of God. That's right. And while you worrying about them, they moving forward and constantly yeah. being blessed. Yes, While you sitting yeah. there with your yeah, mouth on them, they constantly going forward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you want to know why these roadblocks are in my life. Hell up. I told them yesterday, we know the main thing, the devil put a lot of things out. Yeah. We know the main thing that, that's how he spoke. We know from the children of Israel. If you look like Balaam and Balak, mm -hmm. if you remember the story about Balaam, Balaam liked money. Man. And Balak was a man that was ungodly trying to get him to curse God's people. Mm -hmm. But he kept in tight. He said, I cannot curse what God has blessed. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> but if you give me this, he said, didn't I tell you I'll give you a house and I'll give you all these things? And Balaam said, he finally got enticed. Mm. And he said, come, let me tell you what shall come of the future of how you can destroy my people. And he went overboard, overstepped his boundary, what God told him, and, and dwelt along ungodly people. Psalms 1 said, Blessed is the man that walked not in the counsel of the yeah, ungodly, yeah. nor stand in the ways of sinners, nor yeah. sit in the seat of the scornful. Yeah. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, yeah. and in his law do he meditate day and night. Do I get a witness out here? Yeah. 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 All right, now then Balaam said, what's going to come? What he did, he said, this is how you get there. You give your women to their men and get, let the men have your women. Mm. He said, they, if he ain't say it, but they have a sex problem. Uh -huh. All right. uh -huh. And soon as they started intermingling right. in different ungodly sex yeah. problems, they said, That's it. Israel failed. Because yeah. they started serving their idols. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't really go there, but I'm going to study. Do a study on Molage and Ashtad, these idols of what they serve and what they really you be blown away of what we see here in America. That's it. These idols that we have all around. All right. That's it. All right. Amen? Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, so this blaming spirit, we all need to start taking fault for our actions. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All of us. Yesterday I said sin will take you further than you want to go, mm -hmm. keep you longer than you want to stay. And cost you more than you, you want to pay. pay. Yes, yeah. Sin. Yes, yes, Jesus came to the world to kill sin. <laughs> Amen. Yes, yeah. Jesus died. When everybody said, "Why mm. did Jesus come to earth? Mm. Why did he come to earth? Disrobed himself from his glory and come down in the flesh." He said, "Emmanuel, that God is with us." So God took on his own form. Our God, you can't, did his own thing. He can't do a virgin birth man, but he said, I got to come back as the second hour. So God comes down, and the name that he uses is Jesus. He is the son of God because he was born that way, but he came, and he came to come on because he, he's a God that can't sin. Jesus knew no sin. That's what he said, right? right? So right. God came down pure That's to it. look and see all the stuff devil would do it. Oh, because remember he said the devil was the God of the earth. Remember he came down to, and see these things are spiritual. A lot of times we miss it. We want to look at it in the flesh, but the Bible is a spiritual Bible. Yes, yes. Spirit, he said, what he said? Uh, he said, the natural man understands not the things of the spirit because they're foolishness to him. Yeah. Spiritual things is only for spiritual people. That's right. So as you don't look at it, it's not just a history book. That you just read and they are just some fascinating story. The devil is alive. Everything in here is true. Yeah. Yeah. Everything in here is true. That's it. That's it. That's About it. our forefathers, from Abraham all the way to all this started. But Jesus came to this world because justice had to be paid. Uh -huh. Justice had to be paid. And that was sin. When Adam and Eve sinned, this is that blaming spirit. It started with Adam and Eve, right? Adam blamed Eve. The woman you gave me. Eve said she blamed the serpent. Well, the serpent begot me. 
what's going on now? Then you got King Saul. King Saul was the first king of Israel. I'm riding down. And he said, well, the people, he liked their pride. King Saul was a mighty man, a warrior, the first king of Israel. But he liked it the praises of people uh -huh. more than the praises of God. Yes, 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 that's it. He looked at David, think about it. Mm -hmm. He said, the people said, David killed 10,000 and Saul killed 1,000. Mm -hmm. And you read it, says, Saul eyed him from that day through. And he, if you read the story, can you imagine? Think about it when we have, you got Saul, the king of Israel. They got chariots. They got army and the Israel, and we were warriors. They chased David for 10 years when I read this story. Can you imagine running like American most wanted for 10 years? My dog! Come on. <laughs> right. 10 years! And David had two chances to kill him. But David was a man after God's own heart. He said, I would not put my hands on God's anointing. Amen. 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 And he was in the right to kill him. And then David was so awesome that he stayed back his mighty men because they would have went and chopped them up. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. He said, we cannot put our hands on God's anointing. Mm -hmm. And David knew he was anointed years ago when Samuel anointed him. Yes. He said, I know I can take it, but no, I'm going to let it be of God right. instead of me myself. That's it. And some of us take some positions and want to do things to get close to passes and jobs, play kissy kissy and all these things to get where you want to get at. That's it. And you're not supposed to have that, and you get in a position that God didn't ordain for you. Mm -hmm. And you get it, and you have all kind of problems. Yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the first thing you say, well, you want to blame it on that employee and blame it on that because you're out of position. That's it. That's it. Out of position. People naming themselves. You said bishop. People call themselves bishop, call themselves apostles, <laughs> call themselves things. That's it. <laughs> you are called, but did God tell you that? Or did you ordain your own self? That's it. Say that. Hallelujah. Say that. Say that. Help me out. Say that. Come on. Say that. There is a chance that God called you. You need to wait on your calling. That's it. So God called me, and I waited. I got people calling me to come and do all these kind of passes. I say, but God didn't speak to me that way. That's it. Come That's on, it. Come on, come on. I said, you got your church, and yes, it's beautiful. I'll come and help you out. But the same God that speaks to you is the same God that speaks to me. That's it. And if he didn't speak to me, I'm going to stay in my lane. Yeah. Because if it's not of God, it's not going to prosper. That's it. And if it's of God, it will prosper. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. But I'll come and help you out. I don't never want to stop you a minute. I'll come and train somebody because we get away from discipleship, Bishop. Yeah. You know, your pastor, we get away from that. Uh -huh. And that's what you've been discipling disciple in these girls. Right. Get them up under your own hand, Pastor. Yeah. You're discipling them. them. Walk. You said, follow me as I follow God. That's yeah. what Paul said, right? Yeah. Yeah. We got to learn how to follow. Let's go on. Now, here goes the scripture that I want to use. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 1. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 1. The blaming spirit. Why are we always blaming somebody for some things that we don't know? Right. Mm. Long time, I, I, I kind of like blame my family because I'm originally from Queens, New York, and I was mad at them. Why did they send me to Texas to be down here with my brother? With all them horses and cows. I'm a city boy. I was young. <laughs> I've been down in Texas 30 years. But my mom and my dad and my family come from my dad with the pastor of the church. I'm the rebellion child. Out of seven kids. The hardhead one. We all got them. They said, preacher's kids are some bad kids. <laughs> they do all kinds of things. Going to church, yes, looking at the women. Like Eli's son, doing the same thing. I've been there. <laughs> but I got punished for it too. Yeah. But thank God in grace and mercy and thank God my mama prayed for me. Yeah. Somebody prayed for me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you hear that old song? My mother prayed for me. That's it. That's it. I ain't have no doubt. She took the time to pray for me. Oh, I'm so glad she prayed. I'm so glad she prayed, yeah. 
I'm so glad she prayed for me. Oh, my grandmother prayed for me. Yeah, I ain't had no doubt. Yeah, she took the time to pray for me. Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, I'm so glad she prayed. Yeah, I'm so glad she prayed. I'm so glad she prayed for me. Y'all remember that song, right? Yes. Somebody prayed for you. Yes, yes, yes. That's why we are here today. That's it. That's it. And I'm telling you, I understand about intercession prayer now. Intercessory prayers are people that's praying for you that don't know you. Hey, when you was out there on drugs or whatever you were doing, there were some intercessors. They were praying. On their knees, God help them alcoholics yeah. and the prostitutes and uh, yeah. the dope dealers on the street yeah. praying for you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Don't even yeah. know you, but Lord, right. we know you love souls. Send out your yeah. angels yeah. to yeah. pull those souls out of the fire. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yes, yeah. 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 Lord. Somebody prayed for you. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we got to be thankful every day. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go on. Galatians 5 and 1 says, what? Steadfast, therefore, in the liberty yes. wherewith Christ has made us, made you, yes. or they, that made us, us, us free, right? That's it, that's it. And be not entangled again yes, Lord. in the yoke of bondage. Yes, right. yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. A lot of us are tied up mm -hmm. in bondage. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I do agree. You just can't tell everybody your story. Right. Real recognize real. Get around some real spiritual men and women that you can sit and you can confess and tell That's your problems. That's, 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 That's it. And they can give you in the spirit of God that send them spiritual insight. Yes. Yes. Through from wisdom and through the word of God how to yes. bring you out of that yoke of bondage yes. that you are in. Yes. A lot of times you got yokes of bondage of, I would say, you can't keep a job. Lord. You're always blaming the boss, man. <laughs> or you're always blaming the manager. That's it. Or he think he's that. Or she thinks she's That's this. That's it. Say that. But God said, he attained all authority. Yes, he do. Amen. Yes, he do. Yes, he will be able to God. That's what the Bible said. Yeah. All authority is ordained yeah. by God. Yeah. 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 So somebody got to lead. And somebody got to follow. That's it. Until right. you work your way as a good steward and God puts you in that position in the manager, That's you it. better do it right because God says you treat them wrong. Be careful what you do because there's a God in heaven that's going to watch you. You know what I'm saying? They're going to judge you. you. So it's a twofold yeah. thing. That's it. But we want to blame everybody. The yoke of bondage. The Bible says put on the whole armor of God that we may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Right. Now, that means the devil got permission to do what he's doing to you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So why are you so surprised when afflictions and things come? They're going to come mm -hmm. for all of us. But God has given us the weapon That's and it. authority as believers in Jesus Christ That's That's how it. to hold the devil back. Yeah. And how to speak against that spirit of the devil. That's it. And bind and loose everything that comes. It says it. The scripture says it. Follow the scripture. If I don't say nothing else, I'm, I'm telling y'all where I come at. 20 years sober, dope, and alcohol, and drugs, hormones, and out on the streets. 20 years. Only Jesus done this. That's it. Yeah. And I can tell the testimony with boldness. It's only That's Jesus it. done this. That's it. I got filled with the Holy Ghost. I was saved, but I wasn't filled, Bishop, with the Holy Ghost of evidence of speaking in tongues. But once I got filled, oh, how y'all about once I got filled, I'm bold about what I do. Yeah, yeah, right. so I, I, I see when I got my wife. They got these Jezebel spirits in church. I got to watch it, Bishop. Yes, 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 yes. They got women that come around. They call them hormones and women that sit in the pew. That's it. That's it. They say try that. to do everything they can do to try to wreck the marriage. Yes, yeah, say that. So it's not the wife, but the man got to be strong. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. You know I'm married. The next time you do this, in fact, come here, sister. I'm going to pray.
pray over this, you got to be bold. When they see that you old, they ain't gonna come back. They're gonna go back down the spirit, they'll go to someplace else. But you got and that's the, it, it only one way with the women. It's with the, it's not with the men, it's with the women it's too. That's right, that's it, that's it. it. That's it. Yes, it is. They got these men that come in the church, <laughs> and they're whoremongers too. It ain't just yeah. a, 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 a woman yeah. prostitute, they got male prostitutes too. Yeah, yeah, Let's be real about it. Say they it. come up in the church, Say that. and they look for pastors and bishops' wives and all kinds of things. Say that. Say that. Say that. Say that. And they pray on the weak women. Yes. Mm -hmm. Silly women. Yes. Don't know what they're sensitive in there. They don't know nothing. That's it. That's it. They don't want no teaching to go into a woman that's been grounded and, 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 and holy yeah. up in the Lord. Yeah. That's yeah. it. You want to look pretty. Yeah. You can look pretty, but you can look pretty in the Lord and have wisdom that's and it. be filled with the Holy That's it. That's it. Amen. Oh, yeah. 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 That's, yeah. It. that's yeah. it. That's it. But nobody don't want to hear it. Mm -hmm. That's why I say, I know. This is not going to be some famous preaching that somebody can invite. I don't care. I tell a lot of them, I don't need your pulpit to preach. That's that's it. It. I'll pull it up out there on the that's street. All right. that's that's right. That's where God that's called it. me at an evangelist. Yeah. See, people get things mixed up. Uh -huh. I can show you. Let me say this. I'm going to show it. The Lord taking me. I'm going to show this. I'm going to show y'all. People said Jesus didn't go to church. Hmm. Yes, he did. <laughs> the book of Luke. Yeah. The book of Luke. I went, and I went out. I, 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 look at Luke. We're going to go with the scripture. He stayed in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luke, I think it's Luke chapter 19. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me. Luke, yes, it is. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Luke chapter 19, starting at verse 45 to 48. Four, four verses before the end of the chapter. Amen? Amen? And I want you to read it. You can read it out of any interpretation you want to read it in. But I read out the King James Version. Amen. Everybody, I can't read them deeds and doubt. You know why? <laughs> it's spiritual. Yeah. And you need to study. Amen. You means you, thou means you. You just got to study. That's it. That's it. That's the Bible says study to show thyself approved. That's it. A workman need not be ashamed. Right need what? Dividing the word of what? Truth. A lot of people don't know. They say God is the spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. True. That's it. That's it. This is a spiritual body. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go on. <laughs> Here we go. Luke chapter 19, verse 45. He said, And the word of God read. And he went into the temple. Mm -hmm. And he began to cast them out that sold therein and them that broke, saying to them, It is written, My house is the house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. Here we go. Mm -hmm. And he taught some in the temple. Mm -hmm. what did, you all said some? Yeah. yeah. It said he taught yeah. Yeah. Jesus yeah. went to church yeah. every day. Yes. Yeah. yes, he did. But he evangelized yeah. as he was on his way. Yeah. Yeah. So we want to get this straight. That's scripture. Yeah. Then it said, and what in Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 25, forsake not the assembly of yourselves together. And people say, y'all hear it. I don't need to go to church to be saved. And that's true, you don't. But once you are saved, you are a commandment that you need to be in the body of Christ. Amen? That's it. That's it. Because your life is going to help somebody the house of the Lord. That's but it. he said, but look there. Verse 47 said, and he taught daily in the temple. But the chief priests and the scribe and the chief of the people sought to destroy him. Like I told you, this is not popular preaching. Yeah. And, he, and they could not find what they might do. <laughs> For all the souls, I call it soul, were very attentive to hear him. Mm -hmm. Because he was preaching truth. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. Yes, he was. Are y'all seeing that? If we follow the example of Jesus, That's it. we can't go wrong. Mm -mm. We're going to go again. Let's go to the book of Luke. I'm going to show you now. Did Jesus read the scriptures? I'm going to show you this. And then I'm going to keep on moving. But he didn't find no excuse. He killed the blame game. <laughs> there's, no, there's no more blaming in Jesus. That's it. When he came, he conquered all sin. 
sins of the world. They said all the sins of the world, yes. hallelujah, was up on Jesus, right? When he died, he conquered everything. He, did. he, he said it was the first Adam, but he's the second Adam that came. Glory. Yes. And destroyed yes. death and hell. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 4. Luke chapter 4. And y'all know, as it come down in the beginning of it, it said Jesus went into the wilderness. Remember, he was in the wilderness. He was tempted by the devil. But we're going to come on down. And we're coming out of, when he come out of the wilderness, yeah, yeah. he goes into the temple. And look what happened. I want you to see this. Don't say it. But I'm going to open your eyes to something. And y'all teach this to other people. Stop making excuses about serving the Lord. That's it. Right. And he said, all right, and we're going to start at verse 9. Luke chapter 4 and verse 9, and I'm going to go all the way down to verse 17. And the word of God read, and he brought him to Jerusalem and sat, no, no, not that one, no, I'm going to come down. I'm going to start at verse 13 to 17, my fault. 13 to 17, and it said, and when the devil had ended all his temptation. He departed from him for a season. Back again with that. <laughs> Put on the whole arm of God that we may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. He left Jesus alone for a season. Mm -hmm. For a season. So every day, the devil got his certain seeds, he's gonna constantly come at us. It never stopped. Jesus fought with the devil all the way to the cross. After he conquered them, that was it. He took back that authority, right? Uh -huh. Now here we go. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit unto Galilee. Verse 4. And, and there went a fame out of him through all the region round about. And look. And he taught in the synagogue. Mm -hmm. Being glorified of all. Right? Yeah. And he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. His own hometown. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath and stood up for the reading. And there was delivered unto him, listen, to him, Jesus, look, the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he opened the book, he found, listen now, circle that part, he found the place where it was written. Now, I'm going to bring you back. They didn't have Bibles. They had scrolls. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We got Amen. numbers and all this that we got and yes. what God brought to us right now. Yes. So they brought a stack of scrolls there. Mm -hmm. wow. That's it. That's it. Now, we don't know how long it took, but Jesus found the place that was written about him. Oh, help me out. That's it. So he knew how to search the scripture. Right. Come on, people are not going to do it. He said, it said, when he found the place, mm -hmm. that where it was written, he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Yeah. Because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor and has sent me to heal the brokenhearted and to preach deliverance to the captive yeah. and recover them that was blind and to set at liberty them that are bruised mm -hmm. to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. To keep one more, he said, and he closed the book mm -hmm. and he gave it to the minister and sat down and all eyes were upon him. All right. mm -hmm. My God. This is some real, it's, it's not a, a, a good type teaching that people, because it messes up people's theology. When the Bible is this simple, We all are held accountable. Stop putting the blame on somebody. You need to find some time to read your word. That's it. That's it. Say that. You need to find Say some that. time to pray on your own. Yeah. Pastor Hayes can pray to you bald. You ain't got no faith. We can pray all day. But you ain't got no faith in yourself. Exactly. It ain't going to work. That's it. That's it. Faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Yes. Yes. You got to step out on your faith. That's it. But why are you in bondage? Wrestling with the devil. All right. 
It said, put on the whole arm of God, right, that you may be able to stand against the devil. This fight is not against flesh and blood, against principalities, against power, against rulers of darkness of the day, against spiritual wickedness and high places. Wherefore, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand in the evil time and withstand. And after you have done all you have to stand, he says, stand. But a lot of times, you know what? We want to wrestle. The devil want to wrestle with you. So he start wrestling with you with alcohol. He flip you down. He trip you up. Yes. You all, he wrestling with you. That's it. He wrestling with you. You just sit there and let the devil just keep wrestling mm -hmm. with you. You just wrestling with Man, homosexuality. You wrestling with alcohol. You wrestling with don't. You wrestling, just wrestling. All right. But God says, stand. Stand. Stand like a soldier because you're about to put on your weapon. Stand. 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 All right. That's it. That's it. That's it. Having your lines girded about with truth. Yes. Putting on a breastplate of righteousness. Yeah, but stand right. for right standing All with right. the Lord. Yes. Huh. Taking the shield, what he said? Taking the taking the, uh, the, the, the shield to quench all the fiery darts of the adversary. Yes. yes. And taking the helmet of salvation. Glory. And the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. <laughs> you gotta fight the devil. Amen. A yes. boxer, when he fights. He yeah. stands, right? Yeah. Yes. You got to fight that devil. Yes, that's yeah. it. That's it. Fight for your family. Glory. Let's go to the book of Nehemiah. Nehemiah chapter 4. Yeah. And I'm going to close. Nehemiah chapter 4. Nehemiah didn't talk about no more blame. Follow these scriptures. Write them down. Nehemiah chapter 4. Let me get this. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are y'all getting anything out of this? Amen. Are you here? I'm trying to speak into your spirit. Nehemiah chapter 4. Hallelujah. Verse 14. Now you know they were building the walls of Jerusalem. Huh? Yeah. And Pastor, you fixed the build. And you got to build the army, but the army got to have a a sword in their hand and the other hand to keep on building with you. Yes, they were with you today. And sister said she had, she was doing some other things, but they were still by you. And they were fighting that warfare with you, Pastor. God, yeah. Hallelujah. All the barriers. Hallelujah. And they're on Nehemiah. And he's going, he, in chapter 14, verse 7, he said, and I look, no, he said, 13 and 14. He said, Therefore I sat in the tower in the lower places behind the wall and on the high places. And even I sat the people after their families with their swords and their spears and their bows. Now here goes verse 14 is the verse. It says, And I looked and rose up and said unto the noble, unto the rulers, and to the rest of the people, be not afraid of the devil. He said, then we talk about the devil because there's some battle that was their enemy. Yeah. Be not afraid of them. Remember the Lord who was great and terrible. And then it said, look, fight for your brother. Yeah, yeah. Your sons, your daughters, right. your wife, and your household. So stop blaming, I'm telling you to fight Amen. for your children if they out there on the door. Yes. Fight for your marriage, Lord. Yes. Yes. Fight for holiness, Jim. Yes. Fight for your mind to be sober every day. Yes. Yes. Fight for being in favor with, with, with God. Yes. Fight against them people that come around you that are no good. Yes. Fight for them people that like to gossip. Yes. Pray for them. Sometimes God don't change them, but he changed you. Yeah. And give you wisdom how to get around them or walk around or right. get away That's or it. walk away. That's it. That's it. But they ain't going to be them. Mm -hmm. But if you talk with God, God will change you. Yes, he will. How to shut your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. When to talk. When to move. Yeah. How to go forward. How to go backward. And God always gives his people the best deal. Yeah. You're a child of God, you should always get the best deal, the upper hand. Yeah. You should never come out lacking. Like she said, God calls us to be the head and not the tail. Yes. Above and not beneath. Yes. Healed and not sick. All right. yes. Victory and not defeat. Yes. 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 
You should always come out of hell. You're a child of God. Operate in the authority of Jesus Christ. Amen. Don't let nobody tell you that you're inferior. You can't get your GED. That's it, that's you it. can't go to Say God. That. Who told you that? Who told you that? God didn't tell you that. God don't think evil of you. Jeremiah 29, 11, God said, I know the plans I have for you. That's it. That's plans it. of good and not evil. Yeah. So that's not God telling you that you can't do that. You can't start a business. You can't have a ministry. You can't have children. You can't have a husband. You can't have a wife. You can't, you can't stay sober. You're going to always be on crack. You're going to always be abusive. You're going to stay cursing. You can never stop smoking. The devil is alive. Yes, he is. Amen. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Look at me. Hallelujah. Use me as a testimony. Yes. Yes. He said they overcame him by the words of their testimony because they love not their life. Live. Your testimony. Don't be afraid to tell what Jesus done for you. Right. We ain't talk about the, the money and all that stuff is good. We talk about that inner man. Yeah. The things that were stirred that they had you in bondage. Oh, and oh, yes. Jesus that was, that's it. That's it. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's it. Talk about those things yeah. and let them know. Yeah. You use it. Say, I've been married. Say, then I've been all that. But look, but God bless you. Uh -huh. This time with the husband. And he, right before you came, he talked about what he done been through. Yeah. Well, That's God it. blessed him with you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He said, a man that finds a way finds favor yeah. in the Lord's sight. And he found a good thing. Yeah. You yeah. found a good thing. Thank you. She may have been through hell and hot water, but God made God a testimony. She got you to a soldier. Thank you. Hey! Yeah. 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 Thank you, God. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Stop letting people tell you that you can't be nothing and you will always be the way you That's are. It. That's it. The That's devil it. is telling you that. That's not God telling you that. All right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Get around some people that's going to speak into your life. Yes. Yes. I heard an old man, a, a, a prophet man say, when he lifts weights, he likes to lift weights with people that are stronger than him. Why live with somebody that you're stronger than everybody and you're training with them? Mm -hmm. And he said he likes to get around people that are smarter than him. Yeah. If you hang around people that you're smarter than all the time, you need to get away from them. You can't learn nothing from them. That's right. <laughs> okay. That's the truth. That's the truth. You're around people that you're smarter than them, you need to learn. You need to get around people that are smart because it stretches yeah. your knowledge yeah. and it makes you better. Amen. So when you lift weights, why would you want to lift weights with somebody that you're stronger than? Yo, out there than you. Man, you strong. He can't push you. He can't help you. But if you get somebody that's stronger than you and that's more trained, they say, hey, do this. They're going to get you to the rep. They're going to try to build you out. That's it. That's it. I'm just, I'm talking in a lot of different ways. I'm on with it. I, 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 I can preach, but the Lord told me sometimes it, it's a time to teach, and we got away from it. Yeah, that's it. Revival don't always got to be hoorah, no. it needs some uncompromised, some word to get in that's to that's that spirit and that soul that's so that's people can get plan. saved. It. Now, it is a time to preach. Yes, it is. Yes, yes. But I gotta be led by the Spirit where God will lead me at. That's it. Yes, amen. 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 So I don't wanna get to I'd rather for y'all to be mad at me than God. That's, That's it. it. That's it. Say that. That's it. Come on, man. Come on. I'd rather for y'all. Y'all can be mad at me. Y'all get over it. But oh, I don't want God mad at me. He don't punish me enough. He don't whoop me enough. <laughs> I don't want no whippers no more. Amen. So that's why I'm out here telling somebody about Jesus. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Yes, amen. amen. Praise God. Praise Him. So this is it. We're about to close out. Anybody who's been going through something, uh,